Today we're working on this little heater. It's turned on. You can fade the light in the back. It turns off. It does not blow out any heat whatsoever. So we're going to take it apart. It's made by Hampton Bay. It's the model FP405QA. And I'm going to take it apart. So you have these screws here at the bottom, these two here on the side, these two up here at the top, these two on the top, and these two on the bottom here. The brackets, loosen them up, and this should slide straight out. And then we'll start to take this apart itself. Of course, remember they always have power removed. Inside you'll see there is one, two, three screws on the front holding this in on both sides. There's three screws, you have to take them out as well. Now this should be able to pull out. So you're gonna take this, this, and this and this screw off here so you can get to that screw there and then you're going to take the top screws off here they're on the top so you can get inside I left this screw on here but i took these screw off on the top and then when you lift this up it should be able to open it and take the inside there's your blower fan and let's see if they have they have a little circuit board there for the fevers and stuff so let's take a quick look at that on the board there's gonna be a standoff on the back side you're gonna have to catch otherwise they'll go down below and these guys here are the little plastic things you press it together actually yeah you press them together and the void will come out so we're gonna do this like right now, and I'm going to take this little plastic bend off in my hand, and then take this screw out. If the fuse is blown, it's a 3.15 amp fuse. I'm just going to look for some bad solder joint on the back here, and it does look like there is. Let me see if I can get a better pictures and stuff to put up, show you what I'm talking about, and clean this off a little bit for the dust. Right here, you can see that it kind of has that loose, that little notch in between the pin and the solder. That's what we call a solder joint, a bad solder joint, a cold solder joint. So I am going to just reflow. Basically, I'm just going to reheat all these pins up. Make sure they have good solder on here, and it probably will fix this. All right, let's see if that works. I'm gonna turn it on. And fan's not turning. Blower should be on, I would thought. It's Alexander. We may have an issue still with the blower fan. I took the wind switch apart because it wasn't opening and closing, it wasn't lashing in. So, found the back of it, looks like it's melted. There's some pieces of some sort. This actually might be the cause of why this thing stopped working. Okay, you see how that one had a just basically looked like it had a bad contact. So, what we're gonna do is now let's see if this made contact or not. If it didn't, what I'm going to do is basically wire nut these two wires here together and see if this unit turns on. I mean, I'll always be high in the low setting. 
and then you just turn this thing here and it'll be on a high setting after you turn that switch on because it feeds through here and this feeds back to the second board which feeds let me see here I can follow it goes into the heating element so this is actually stopping the stuff from working this switch here so that being said pretty much think I found the culprit of why this thing stopped working this switch itself um, Here's the part number for it. Let's see, I don't even know if I had the part number. It's an 8 amp switch. 8 amp to 128 amps. So instead of wire nutting this, this is what I'm going to do. I just temporarily try this to see if it would work. Switch part here broke off inside, and I'm gonna pull it out. And I'm gonna cut this wire mess here, and I'm gonna put this right here. And we're just gonna bypass that wind switch, it'll always be on, and then this will make it to the high. So they have low when you power on, and high when this turns on. So it'll be safe, so I don't have to worry about wired it and this kitchen on fire or anything like that. Lower fan comes on. I can smell the heating elements. And that's all it was, is that one switch. Now this is on low. If you want it high, you just press this other button here. And it makes the other one go on. I betcha. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If your blower fan's not working, it might just be as simple as a switch. You see the other heat yeah, like the back warming up now. This thing's working now. I'll see you next time.